Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So how do you make a simple rhythm more interesting? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use syncopation to take a simple rhythm and drive your track more and add more interesting elements. Let's dive in. Okay, so this video is all about syncopation. So first things first, what is syncopation? Syncopation is simply where you place musical notes, by rhythm, rhythms, sounds off the beat. So what we're trying to say here is how to make rhythms that have aspects of them that are off the beat. Now syncopation is a fantastic device to add drive and interest to your rhythms. Now we're going to dive into these complete 16 bar rhythms that we have been working with. So I'm just going to open up the piano roll so we can see it. There it is. There's our 16 bar rhythm. This is the first one we composed, which was based on the beat. So as you can see here, if we start, I'm going to move these, this one here, and move this one here. As we watch, this is on the beat. Okay. However, when we introduce eighth notes, there are aspects of it that can be syncopated. So to make this bit syncopated here, I'm going to delete that. So we've got this. You get it? I took the note that was off the beat and left the one, sorry, I took the note that was on the beat, deleted it, left the one that was off the beat. So giving a syncopated feel. Now the other way to do that would be to let's just shorten these to move these to the and to the upbeat to the off beat aspect or thing. Okay, do you see how that adds so much interest? So there's two ways we can go about this. We can delete notes or we can move notes or we can do both. Okay, that's three ways to go about it, but <laughs> damn it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to copy and paste the original. We're going to keep that over here and I'm going to color this just for the sake of it and move this. Oh yes, I remember now I've got auto color on. Ta-da, there we go. This is our new syncopated rhythm. We're going to open this up and we're going to have a go at syncopating it. First thing we're going to do is Think about, remember we've got this like one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we've got this pattern of four bars. Now the easiest way just to go about it is just delete the occasional on the beat. So one, two, three, four, one, two, and then I'm going to delete you. And the one thing to remember here is we want to keep it similar so that it feels like it's got those elements that are repeating. Okay, we don't want, if we kind of delete it willy nilly, then it won't have this idea of returning to certain rhythmic elements. So already it's sounding a lot more interesting, which is great. So where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we need to just delete this. Done that. Now here, I'm going to delete there and I'm going to delete that like that. And this is just the easiest way. So you can start with a rhythm that has no syncopation and just remove notes to make it feel syncopated. Okay. I mean, right now it sounds pretty uninteresting and that's, you know, because what it is, is just some sticks banging. But when you do things like this, and you integrate it with other things, it becomes something else, it becomes something much more interesting. So let's approach it the other way. Now I'm going to take the second note, well, almost every second note of every bar, and I'm going to put that on the offbeat. I'm going to syncopate it. Ta da there we go. Okay. 
Okay. Now at this stage, again, like I said, it's it's like, okay, some sticks banging, but understanding why you do this and how you do this is the whole point of this series of videos to teach you about those elements that will make your rhythm sound more interesting and give it a little bit more drive. Because you're not having everything on the beat, it kind of pushes the rhythm a little bit. And now that become that will become especially apparent when we work on this one here. The one that's got sixteenths. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy. Same thing. So what we can do is actually I might just break this up into two. It's actually quite my brain's struggling to approach full 16 bars. Okay. What we can do is we can delete notes. Remember? We can go, okay. Oh. We could just delete that. We can say, okay, you, one, two, three, four, and you are deleted. And then we're going to go, you and you are deleted. Now, what do you do with 16th Ridge? Is it always the first note that you delete? No, because with 16th, you can also delete the first and the third 16th. These two. Because when it comes to dividing the beat into 16s, into four, the first and the third are the ones that feel more on the beat. And you'll hear it. Okay, so let's delete that third one, that first one. And then we go, let's do that same thing again. First and third, third, first. Da, 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 like that. And then we're going to go ba, 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 like that. Now I've taken the notes that are off the beat and I've also taken the notes that are the first and the third, the stronger of the six of the four notes of the 16th. Let's have a listen to it now. Can you hear how much more interesting that feels? It's really, it still like blows my mind that you can just do something like move a single note and it become something awesome. So let's just run with this example so that we can hear this in action. So it could be, let's just do uh, another Cerberus tight. Let's take these guys and we'll move these down. Oh wait, no, not these ones. We'll take these first eight bars and we'll put these down. There we go. Now with syncopation, yeah, much more interesting that is. And, and how it drives the rhythm forward. So let's uh, load up the Spitfire Marimba. And we're going to take this and move it down there. And where are we? And I'm just going to drop the velocity a little bit so that it's a bit softer. Okay, now we're going to take this put this and join it all together. And we're going to, there we go. Oh, let's put it into a, as a fifth, G and D. Okay, Rich, I get it. It's not that interesting right now. Well, what happens if we just introduce some idea, some aspect of movement within that rhythm? Hey, I'm not thinking about this, really. I'm just going, well, how about we just move everything up the first, uh, second, and third interval or notes of the scale? Like this. A 
Okay, now let's take every other bar and move that. Every other bar, Rich. There we go. Oops. There we go. Let's take a look. Okay, I hope you can see how taking syncopation notes that are off, moving notes off the beat, it creates this really uh, very interesting sound and it creates more interest in the rhythm than you would normally get. It's a really simple thing to do. Like I said, you can write a simple rhythm and then just delete the ones that are off beat. Or you can write a simple rhythm and then move a few notes off the beat. And that way you can create a syncopated rhythm that gives drive and interest to your existing rhythm. Remember, you don't have to do that. It doesn't have to be a case of like you throwing everything at syncopation. It could be a case of you simply moving a few notes off the beat. It's up to you and it's your creative choice because always syncopating everything feels unstable and not having any syncopation can lead to monotony. So think about ways you can use syncopation in your next rhythmic track. I'll see you in the next video, guys.